Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and in this video I'm going to talk to you about explaining humans, what science can teach us about life, love and relationships by Dr. Camilla Pang. This is part information book and part autism memoir, which is, with me being autistic, um, I don't think I said, I mentioned that in the previous, the, when I talked about uh, pain and prejudice. Um, but those who watch me more often, who know me, um, know that I am autistic. Um, so this being part of this memoir is what made me pick it up. Also, it, it involves science and I'm interested in science. So I also really like this, this cover. This uh, book design. Anyway, um, this was the last book I read on my holiday, although I actually finished it after I got back home. And this book talks about a number of things um, with these certain subjects. The author uses certain science concepts that help her with this. Um, now, I don't know how this reads as a neurotypical person because I'm autistic, so I don't know, you know, how anyone else feels or because I haven't talked to anyone else about it. I don't actually talk to like most of the books I read, you know, there's a Gavin Squall from that I don't specifically know anyone really close who's read it that I talk about the book in detail. But anyway, um, Buddy reads obviously I'm an exception. Um, I'm getting tired from recording these videos but kind of want to get it done. I was already taught sensory overload. Um, I love this book. It was very interesting to me. I think it will be definitely one to reread because I don't think I picked up everything on the first go, um, like remembering it. It was also holiday time, so I was maybe also not like the most paying attention. Um, but that's on me. Uh, definitely not the book. Um, I recognize a lot of things. The author also has ADHD. I have ADD, so not the hyperactive part. The author also has generalized anxiety disorder, which I also have. And yeah, I just recognize so much of this. And I thought it was very clever how she uses some of these um, science concepts. Now, I have studied chemistry, so I was familiar with a lot of these science concepts. But the way she applies them is sometimes not something that I've thought about. A few that I have thought about like that in that way, but a lot of them also I hadn't and yeah, I really liked that. It's been a while so I don't remember everything obviously. Um, every now and then there's also like illustrations that I think the author herself made at the time also that she was like, thinking about these things and well, they illustrate sometimes some of the concepts and, and ideas that she talks about. Um, again, I don't know how this works for like a neurotypical person or somebody who is just interested in the science and not as much in like... So yeah, I'm sorry that I can't say lots about it exactly, and but I love this and I think it will be great for me to reread it at some point, or maybe we just reread specific bits, um, uh, because while a lot of these concepts are familiar, the way that she connects it to certain things in, you know, real life and how certain things are applicable, it's really clever and, and I really liked it. it. Well, science is also one of my interests, so yeah, I love this. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!